January 22nd, 2019. Well, I think I have uh, the light situation figured out for now. I'm leaving the light switch off. I don't know what's causing the electricity just in this room to have the lights go on and then go off and come back on. I don't think it's safe, so I've turned uh, the switch off. I've added two desk lamps. I've got one here. If you watched my uh, Good Morning YouTube video, you would you see that the lights were going on and off. So I've got two desk lamps, and I think that'll be okay. Better be safe than sorry. So I'm not even going to turn that switch back on. We will have lighting tonight for our live online church. But things are not okay in Michigan. Two men from Florida were stranded in their vehicle and one has frozen to death. Let me take you to this story. Florida man 22 was found dead in his car during extreme cold in Michigan. This is always my worst fears. Grand Junction, Michigan, a Florida man was found dead inside his car Though was stuck in the field during extreme cold temperatures, according to news release from the Van Buren County Sheriff's Office. My, my, my. Deputies responded about 11.30 a.m. Monday, January 21st, to the 8,000 block of uh, County Road 1, uh, 215 in Grand Junction for a report of two males who appeared to be sleeping in their cars, the police said. Deputies found a 22-year-old man from Florida in the driver's seat, deceased. The passenger was found unresponsive but still breathing. The passenger, also from Florida, was transported by Bronson Air Care to Bronson Hospital where he was listed in critical condition. My, my. Deputy, deputies believe that the two men were in the area visiting friends and drove into a field where the vehicle they were driving became stuck. The two appeared to try to get the vehicle unstuck from the field, but were unsuccessful. While deputies are still waiting for the medical examiner's report, it's believed that extreme cold played a factor in the death. The news release states, temperatures were measured at two degrees in Bloomingdale, near where the two men were found on Monday at 11.30 a.m., according to the National Weather service my 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 it's always our worst fears pray for those out in the elements sad sadness god bless